hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have a word and this word is based on the dream that i had um so on february the 23rd i had a dream and in the dream i was taking notes as somebody was talking and uh the word that somebody spoke was um spring forward so we know that the season of spring represents you know uh things growing things sprouting just things flourishing and so everything that looked like it was dead and buried by the winter and dry is now you know coming alive so spring represents newness and just you know growth and also you know just flourishing and that's what i've noticed about spring every time when spring is here i always seem to you know just notice the things are changing and that's basically what happens so i've noticed in this season that you know it is a time to also pray um, there's just been a, a sense of yearning to sit at the feet of jesus and pray so i encourage you guys to do the same thing uh, the host you wanted me to share this word because this word has been on my heart i was watching this tv show with my students and it's called wild Rats. and in the show so the villain wanted to take something and in the part at the end the villain was like oh it's green and flowers spring is here it's a new season and that stuck out to me and the whole spirit was reminding me of the dream that i had because i wrote it down and i just you know forgot about it so isaiah 43 verse 19 says see i am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it i am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland okay so god is making everything that has died to spring forward okay to grow and flourish and to uh, bring fruit. Everything starts uh, flourishing and everything starts, you know, growing. Spring also represents, you know, starting over, like something new comes. So Luke chapter 21 verse 29 to 30 says, he told them this parable, look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Okay. So how we know that spring is here, we see things growing, uh, green leaves and stuff like that. You know, we know that the season has changed. We know that we are in a new season. So, and this is what the Holy Spirit has been speaking. You know, we have to discern the times and seasons. Um, the other verse is Psalms chapter one, verse three. And it says, that person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. So in this season, you know, it is time to bear fruit. And that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. The other verse uh, was Songs of Songs, chapter 2, um, verse 10, all the way to 13. It says, my beloved spoke and said to me, arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past. The rain are over and gone flowers appear on earth season of singing has come the cooing of doves is heard in our land the fig tree forms its early fruits the blooming vines spread their fragrance arise come my darling my beautiful one come with me so spring is a time of love and i do believe that you know god is bringing people together in this time uh we're springing forth and love is in the air um you know god has been just showing me the word love whether god wants to love on you you know it is time to just spend time with the holy spirit and also you know love on jesus you know be in love with jesus more it is a time to draw closer to him you're about to bear fruit you're about to see fruits but you have to also contend for these fruits in this season um you know because the enemy is going to try to um come and try to um steal when god does something the enemy also wants to bring counterfeits and that's basically what happens when god gave me this dream i also had you know uh, a bad dream and i was just like you know wait a minute you know and i knew it was time for me to war for the things that god has promised so it is a time to pray it is a time to you know fight you're gonna fight for the things that god wants to do in this new season every new season there's always warfare every time you're about to enter a new season the enemy is going to fight you so in every new season and you have to pray and i encourage you guys that you pray and ask the holy spirit what he wants to do in this spring as we spring forward as we uh, move forward in his will as we move forward in the new season and um as the holy spirit wills i will come on here and you know try to teach on the seasons of god and 
you know, how God, you know, speaks in every season of our lives. So I hope you guys are blessed. I just want to say thank you for watching this channel, for subscribing. I ask you guys to take this word to God and ask him if this word is for you. As Habakkuk says in chapter 2, verse 3, it says, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Whatever God has promised you, it is coming to pass. Everything is going to grow in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That every tongue that rises against you is condemned in Jesus' name. Continue to believe because it is impossible to please God without faith. You have to believe. You have to believe every word that God has given you, okay? You have to contend for every word. And when you contend, you know, at the right time, you know, God will make everything flourish. He'll make everything happen. So guys, before we end um, this word, we are going to pray and cover this word in the blood of Jesus. So let us pray. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, for this new season. We pray, Lord Jesus, even for the hearers of this word. And we thank you, Father God, even for... Um, for the season of bearing fruit of my Father God, we pray, Lord Jesus, even as uh, we spring forward, oh God, into your will, into everything that you want us to accomplish, oh my Father God, we thank you for the strength of my Father God to do according to your will, my Father God, according to your plans, oh my Father God. We come against every plans of the enemy, oh my Father God, every weapon that will try to form, oh God, that it will not prosper, my Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your blood. We thank you, Father God, for the confidence that we have in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord Jesus, even for just this new season, my Father God. I pray for each and every person, my Father God, on this channel, my Father God. I pray, Father God, that you're covering them in the blood of Jesus, oh God, that you are growing them in your will, my Father God, as they continue to delight in you, oh my Father God. We thank you, Father God, for strength to overcome everything in our lives. In Jesus' name, name i pray with thanksgiving my heart amen so guys um i'll see you guys next time when god speaks bye